Hey guys, so we are gonna make some grilled um, oyster today. I got some Asian, aka Japanese oyster. They came very raw and still alive. So after I rinse it with water, um, normally I grill this on the grill for about maybe three to five minutes, just enough so where it opens up a little bit and you can probably open the lid just like that. So it's still raw, but it's warm, okay? And I need the knife. All right, so we're gonna use the knife to try to pry it open. It's very hot, so I gotta be careful. So we're gonna find a little opening somewhere. Be very careful. Oh, you see all that juice coming out? Very juicy. So it's kind of similar to Oyster Rockefeller, except that we're not putting any vegetable or spinach in there. I take that back. We are putting some vegetable in there, but more like a sauce and not a filler. Do you mind opening it? Very hot, so be careful. Okay. Very hot, right? <laughs> so once you get this part open, you don't even have to cut it. There you go. You can set it aside. Ta -da! And let's open the rest of it. Very, very hot. Still steaming. You can see the steam. So instead of using the grill this time, we are using the air fryer right here um, I did put it in for five minutes the first time but it didn't seem like the muscle has relaxed enough so where you can open it you want it to be slightly open this time it wasn't open yet but since it's partially cooked it was still pretty easy to open okay I'll do this part you don't have to worry about that part let me just open it so I have my assistant over here helping me very helpful assistant. And it's harder to do it only because I did not let it sit to cool down. As soon as I got it out of the air fryer, as soon as I let it out of the air fryer, I'm opening it right away. I can go on to the next one first. If you like, check the next one. Because if it's hard to open, you can probably put it in air fryer for another minute or two. I'm gonna give it another try. Maybe once it cool down, it might be easier to open. Look at that. As you can see, the flesh is still soft. So juicy because it's not cooked all the way. So the last piece. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to a sushi? venue they only allow you to have like one oyster and the raw oyster you get one if you're lucky you get two per person now this recipe was introduced to me at a house party where all they did was throw it on the grill just long enough for it to open up and then once they open it up they made a sauce of strictly lemon juice salt and pepper very very simple and that's all they use however today I made something a little bit different very similar to the one that you had at the sushi venue um, you normally put chopped up jalapeno and onions but I don't have jalapenos so we're gonna use bell pepper red and green I use a little bit of Chinese chili oil lemon juice a little bit of lime juice a little bit of salt and pepper and that's what's going to go on here today. I can't guarantee how tasty it would be because I have never made this sauce before. We've got one more coming. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit of that sauce in there. using a plastic plate only because I don't want to break the plate. I 
to put that in the air fryer a little bit longer. I'm only using one hand right now, so. Looks like I might need a little bit more sauce. any of that goodies. Yay, got the last one right this way. And if you notice, I am putting it on the plate carefully because we don't want to lose those sauces. Get a little bit extra in here. Ooh, all that sauce stuff. All the juice is coming out. We don't want that to come out. All right, we are good. So let's take this out to the table. Yeah, I know I see it. Okay, let's go. Follow me. That is a slightly grilled or air fried raw oyster, guys. Look how juicy that is.